Welcome back everybody uh, for another edition of Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today I'm going to be going over uh, how to make your polyjet parts that are clear, even a little bit clearer. Um, they're not always that clear straight off the, the machine, so I'm going to show you a couple tricks that I use. Uh, so let's take a look and uh, let's go through the steps. All right. I'm going to first clean the parts off. These are polyjet parts. What we have here, I kind of have different colors, but it's with uh, a clear material as well. So these are going to be see-through. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. So I'm going to clean these parts really quick, and then we'll get to the sanding. Alright, so today we're going to be using a 400 grid, a 600 grid, a 800 grid, and a 1000 grid. So as you can see here, um, some of the parts are just matte finish, like this one for instance. Um, this one off the printer is a glossy finish, and it's matte on the other side. Another uh, glossy finish, uh, I'm basically going to show you guys the difference between the, the sanding. So what we're going to do first, I got my black, okay, that I'm going to basically use to, to wrap my, uh, my sandpaper in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it wet with the water and soap that I prepared. And then basically, I'm going to start wet sanding the part. And what you can do is actually have the block and just go back and forth on the block itself. If you feel, feel more comfortable, if you get a bigger piece of uh, sandpaper, you can wrap it around the entire block, put the block down, and do it that way. Um, I kind of go both ways where, you know, I'll, I'll go back and forth with the part or I'll hold the part flat and just go back and forth with the block itself. Um, so this is 400 grit that I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I'm just kind of going through the, the sanding process here, um, you know, using the, the different grids, um, 600, 800, 1000. Um, Basically, as soon as I'm, I'm done, I'm just putting them on the side. I, you you want to make sure you sand both sides, and you want to make sure you, you go in one direction. You're not making any circular motions or anything like that. Wipe the parts down. I'm letting them dry a little bit, and I'm going to show you. So after just wet sanding, there's not really much of a difference as far as clarity goes, right? Uh, as you can see, all these parts are okay but they're not clear right i mean you can see my fingers through it but it still has that that foggy effect to it and i'm going to show you guys the last trick uh for th for this to get done so what i'm going to end up doing now is i'm actually going to spray clear crystal enamel on it and I'm going to show you what difference it makes so I'll be right back with you guys after I spray this uh all right so let's take a look at the parts after I sprayed one side it's kind of you can see how glossy that is on that one side that I just sprayed that's not completely uh, finished because it's still not sprayed on the other side um, so let's take a look at once I do the other side so now we're going to lacquer the other side. I'm going to leave one, one piece of lacquer on the other side so I can kind of show you guys the difference. So this part is only lacquered on the one side and it's still not completely dry because as you can see I caught a little bit of lint. But on this side it's still still not clear enough right I mean you can you can see through it right you, you can kind of see through it but it's not it's not as good now we'll grab a piece that I lacquered on both sides so as you guys can see the clarity is huge all right so you can see how big of a difference both sides make and this is just quick right we can do it 
much better if we get into, you know, higher grids. This is only at a thousand grid. So at a thousand grid, it's pretty clear. And there's really no difference between the matte finish and the and the glossy finish when you go. So you can see how huge of a difference that is, right? This is the one that I left unsprayed on the one side and only sprayed on the one side. So, I mean, it, it's a huge difference because you can see the other ones. You can see my, my fingerprint in there because uh, I was testing if it's dry enough. But yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully I kind of showed you something. Um, and come back next week. Hi right, guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, right there at the bottom uh, is our email. You can reach me and you can reach uh, the entire group. Uh, if you guys have suggestions or certain things you'd like to see on our next video or my next video, let me know, right? Um, it's uh, Luke J with uh, CATI. Thanks for uh, joining me.